Hello and welcome to the next part of Anniversary no Kuni no Alice. Now let's continue hunting for events. I think this one is also a uh, either a scripted event or maybe a side event. Anta. あんた、あんまりアトラクションを楽しんでないよ。え、せっかく遊園地に滞在してるのに、それはないだろ。うん、まあ、ね、that's a bit weird. At least try every everything out once, you know. Then you can Then you そうそう、乗り放題、遊び放題だぜ。オーナー権限で並ばなくていいしな。ね、what <laughs> Sorry, Alice, but there's no escape now. It's a cute CG, though. He does whatever he wants without caring what others think. No, thank you. And so they dragged me along. Yep, Oh. This will take a while. Oh, was a cute little event. Alright, more event hunting. Let's go. And here we have the next Boris event. They're still going on about that. I don't want to hold it. Why are you trying to make me? I don't want to touch something so awful. Boris is persistently trying to cause me into holding a gun. He's right about that. His tone is light, but the hand clasping my hand over the gun is firm. I can't let go. It is awful. This kind of thing is too heavy for me. Not what she meant. Not that kind of heavy. I meant it's too much responsibility. It's no use. I can't tell from Boris's expression. He knows why I don't like it and is still trying to make me hold it. You suck. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? You don't just suck. You're twisted too. So he's enjoying to make me hold it because he enjoys the way I panic. I don't think he'll leave me alone if I stop reacting, but I don't see the point in resisting if all it's going to do is entertain him. I guess he could sense my resignation. He gently helped me aim it. But this isn't the way you do it. でも、初心者ならまずは構え方を覚えないと。I don't want to start with anything. すぐになれるよ。He's refusing to listen. He readjusts my grip on the gun and puts me into the right posture. Yeah, 
The gun is so cold and way too heavy to be a toy. I shouldn't be messing with something like this. I don't have enough conviction. <laughs> Boris's grip loosens up. I try to let go of the gun, but he's still holding on enough that I can't. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm offended that he would laugh when I was being so serious. In this country, maybe. <laughs> Boris has a Cheshire grin spread across his face. He's even more cat like than a real cat. Are you sure? Well, it depends on your definition of conviction, I guess. And that's why you can shoot a gun as though it's some kind of game? He seems so entertained. He's a spitting image of Cat. Simu simultaneously cute and cruel. That can't be fixed. A cute, cruel, mischievous cat. Not to mention foolish. Intelligent, but still an animal. If you're considered normal, this world's full of nothing but idiots. It's close enough. The people here are alive too. You call things replaceable, not people. Even among things, there are some things too. Precious to ever be replaced. <laughs> no, no, I got reminded to the comedy skit. The one thing you can't replace. You should never call a person replaceable. I suddenly question myself in the middle of my impassioned speech. Is Boris a person? Is he a cat? What is he? Maybe you don't get it because you're kind of more like a cat. Still, not even a cat's life is, uh, is replaceable. I wouldn't want to get another cat to replace Dina if she died. I've been so worked up about what I'm saying. Boris is staring at me with a blank look on his face. My lecture doesn't seem to have made much of an impression on him though. I am not weird. You're the one that's weird. Average cat. There's a lot of things I could point out that don't look average about him. And I'm not ready to agree that he's even a cat. Are you absolutely, completely, beyond the shadow of a doubt sure you're average by this world's standards? <laughs> so yeah, let's continue hunting for events. And here we have the next one. Are you enjoying this? You can enjoy another person's distress. You ought to find yourself some better hobbies. Boris looks as intoxicated as a cat with catnip. What could possibly be fun about this? The more I scowl at Boris, the more delighted he seems, but I'm finding it hard to keep a poker face. There's a gun in my hand. My palm is so slick with sweat, I'm afraid I'm going to drop it. 
What if I accidentally slip and pull the trigger? What if it goes off because of some freak chance? What if I drop it and it goes off and shoots me? What if the bullet goes straight through the wall and shoots some somebody outside? I'm not taking responsibility if I end up shooting somebody. It's heartless, but that's how desperate I feel. I would hate being shot, but I would hate shooting somebody else too. I can't handle the responsibility. How can you be so irresponsible? How can you force me to hold the gun against my will? You know I don't know what I'm doing. There are bullets in this thing, aren't there? Ah. No, I do not want to shoot one. Not for shooting a gun. Serious, that took that word took me by surprise. I didn't think I would be called serious in this world too. Maybe in my world, but I'm not hiding my true nature here. Nobody should have any reason to think I'm the cute, serious girl I pretend to be in my world. I'm a coward. I'm too scared. I'm a giant wimp. I can't hold a gun. I don't want to. I don't think being serious is a bad thing, but I also doubt it really applies to me. I am surprised he would call me that. I haven't put on my good girl act with him. <laughs> That's also a different way to view it. <笑><笑><笑> He's biting my ear. Whoa, 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 what are you? What do you think you're doing to me, you peep? Says the one who cursed up a storm with Goland the other day. I'm not as abnormal as you. I don't believe this guy's crap about being normal anymore. This may be an incompre incomprehensible world, but even considering that, Boris is not normal. You're such a liar. Goland doesn't go around biting people's ears. As my friend and somebody I live with, Goland is one of the first people that comes to mind. He may be the worst musician of all time, but at least he doesn't bite ears. And he doesn't force people to hold guns. What? Alice is trying to seduce you. <laughs> I think you may not have noticed yet. What? Don't say something like that. Of course I would mind. You had how much how much self awareness do you have, Boris? How much? Well I'm glad you know the proper term for what you're doing to me right now. Right now, he's doing it right now. Because he is doing it, it isn't, of course. How is it not? It's obviously sexual harassment. Anybody would hold you in for sexual harassment, you peep. Oh boy. This isn't meant to upset me. Then what is it meant to be? Oh, 
Hm. I've got one right now, remember? Is he suggesting I shoot my Harrison now? Nani? Forrest is playing dumb, but he offered me his gun. I really don't. You love this gun, don't you? I don't want it. No thanks. No? Thank you. I really wish you would give in and understand that I hate guns. If Boris loves guns so much, he can keep it to himself. But I'm me. I don't want a gun. <sighs> Is this your strategy now? I feel more vulnerable with one. Because I really am a giant coward. I thought he was being sarcastic, but his face was that serious. Boris being serious? Serious is a word that describes him even worse than it in than it describes me. Then shouldn't it be okay for me not to have one? Dame, dame. This world is a bad thing. Like you do? So, Nightmare event, nightmare event. <coughs> Go to the doctor, please. Looking at uh, looking in poor health as always, nightmare appears. If you don't appear one of these days, I wonder whether I should assume that you're bedridden or if I should just skip straight to getting my morning dress ready. <laughs> I think it's only natural to be sarcastic when dealing with someone who refuses to go to the doctor just because he hates injections. I can't believe he still refuses to go to the doctor even though his condition is this bad. And his reason for not going is just because he doesn't like injections. All I can say is good grief. I seriously just can't believe him. Hey, nightmare. <laughs> Since you hate injections so much, I can't help but wonder, did something happen to you? Since this place is inside a dream, there's probably no hospitals. However, judging from his behavior, it seems that he's choosing not to go to one. In other words, if he felt like going, he could go. So, there has to be some sort of deep reason to why he refuses to go to the hospital. Refusing to go to the hospital just because he doesn't like injections. There's no way that's true. Oh, really? Hmm? Like I thought. Like, he has a grudge against doctors, or has a memory of an important person that he lost. That's the sort of shadow that seemed to descend over us. When I was in the hospital, I was in the hospital, and I was in the hospital, and I was in the hospital. See? He doesn't have a deep reason. After setting that dark mood, he reveals that it's just because he has a fear of needles. This man. I swear. Even though you appeared so serious, your appearance. I care about looks on a nonchalant level, that's all. If it was just about having a pretty face, then I would even be able to forgive Peter. 
You know, when I first met you, I thought you were a dark, mysterious man, but now... No, you are very much so, to the point where the Grim Reaper might pop out any second now. I can do without that kind of darkness. In any case, refusing to go to the hospital despite vomiting blood, that's a completely different type of mystery altogether. Of course, that kind of mysterious condition is also something I could do without. Good luck with that. That's quite the thing to say, considering how his complexion makes it look like the day when I should be preparing my morning dress is ne drawing nearer. <laughs> let's let's be nice, all right? Though I'm actually unsure which of these choices is the responsibility one. But uh, let's let's make Alice more involved, right? What a hopeless guy! I rubbed the ill-looking nightmares back. He really is hopeless. Ay -ay -ay -ay. All right, all right. Then let's continue. Let's go. Still stuck on that, huh? You don't care that I do. I don't care. It wasn't intended to be sexy, and I don't think he has the right to complain about it. I'm fed up with this situation. Oh, I feel like I'm making weird sounds. Certainly, I haven't been blessed with enough life experience to be able to keep cool under the stress. I think I might even start crying. There's a gun in my hand and my ears being licked. Of course I would make weird sounds. My voice already sounds weird, but I'm talking about even weirder sounds. Do you have a death wish, Boris? I glare at him as if to ask, wanna be shot? He replies with, whoa, scary. You don't look scared to me. Am I not intimidating enough while holding a gun? No wonder he doesn't mind letting a complete beginner letting a complete beginner hold a gun. If it were me, I would be afraid of being in the same room as somebody holding a gun. I would definitely wouldn't be in the mood to lick their ear. Even under normal circumstances, I wouldn't be in the mood. And what if there is an accident? The odds are awfully high, even now my arms are trembling. I can keep my palms from sweating, and I wouldn't be surprised if I slipped and dropped the gun. I might accidentally pull the trigger before that even happens. Terrifyingly enough, the gun is apparently loaded, and the safety, whatever that is, is off. <laughs> whatever that is. I'm no expert, but this seems to be like the ideal circumstances for a gun to go off. You're the one that's weird, you. There's no doubt left in my mind that Boris isn't normal. No matter what the world we're in, forcing a girl to hold a gun while licking her ear is too abnormal. If this is considered normal, I want to run away, whether it's a dream or not. But I can't, can I? I can't get away from this harassment. This is sexual harassment. I know it is, so what in the world is wrong with me for making friends with him? I don't want to get used to it, so of course it's not working. I don't even want to remember doing this. 
覚えちゃうってのもあるだろう。怖い話とかさ。Yeah, that's a good description for this. This is a horror story. True horror. The cat eat boy is making me aim a gun. It's hard to tell if it's horror or comedy, but for the victim, it's definitely terrifying. <laughs> How? <laughs> As he said that, Horus mouth moved from my ear to the nape of my neck. This jerk is taking advantage of me being too nervous to move with this gun. For a split second, I really felt a murderous urge rising. He's not just licking my neck, his hand, his hand, his hand! Where do you think you're touching me, you pervert cat? Yeah. If that wasn't moving, I would be dead. Hmm. So, if Is he alright? Somehow I was suddenly worried for him. Boris? If you have problems in your life, you can talk to me, okay? Problems. <laughs> you sure? He's scrubbing my chest, but I feel more concerned than outraged. I'd be more accurate to say that that is my chest. Although, sure, I guess you could say that's my heart. I shouldn't be surpri surprised to hear that from a gut nun, a gun nut like him, but it's total sexual har harassment. Still, I just can't feel angry. I switched to completely into Rory mode. I can't be mad. I don't think Alice can shoot anyone with her heart. Hey, you really can talk to me anytime if you have problems, okay? I'm seriously worried for you. <laughs> Too worried to care about sexual harassment. <laughs> Scripted event? Ah, oh, flask. I stare at a small bottle. It's filling up. Strange. More than that, this is creepy. Even though it's creepy, I wonder where I can throw it away. It's me who's strange. I feel lightheaded. And yeah, we have the next event of playing together with Boris and Golem. We've already gone one one round. That's enough. What are you talking about? It's still a bit early. This attraction is getting bigger and bigger. Let's go to the next one. They're not listening. This is how they dragged me around last time too. I'll just go with them. Well, it's useless to resist, so I might as well go along. All right, all right, I'll go with you. What are you doing? I'm trying to help you with your own goals. Yes, yes. I'm grateful to you. Can't you two go by yourself? You're so patronizing. 
おっさんと二人で回っても楽しくもなんともないもん。行こう行こう。And so they dragged me along. They said they're doing this for me, but they're the ones having fun. Next boss event, next boss event. Shinzo no to my kikitaina. Boris said something outrageous. Still, just about anything he ever says is outrageous. So, so it's a sad fact that I've been getting used to it. It's scary how used to, to this I am. Even being forced to hold a gun where he presses his ear against my chest, I feel nothing. Not. I'm scared. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. And I'm not talking about the scary feeling that I'm getting used to this. I'm legit legitimately scared. Being with Boris is one terrifying thing after another. Just when I think there can't be anything else, he pops a new terrifying thing on me. Right now, I'm being forced to hold the gun in my sweat slick hand, and his head is nestled against my chest. Every time he moves his head against me, my head shakes. This is completely unsafe. I could pull the trigger or drop the gun at any moment. I'm so nervous, my hand is sticky with perspiration. Why? Boris, are you sick in the head? No, Nani Tendaya, and I am not. You're weird, it's you. What if I shoot this thing? You realize you're in danger too, right? I'm not the only one whose safety is on the line here. Making me hold the gun in this situation is nothing short of, insa of insane. He barely ever does he barely ever does anything to make me think he's sane, but this is even worse than usual. But nothing. Isn't it obvious it's pounding? Yeah, my head it's my heart's pounding. It's palpitating. I'm so scared I could cry. There is a limit, Boris. He presses his ear even more snugly into my chest, and my face turns red. It's pounding because I'm scared. I'm not doing it on purpose. I think this is another side ev event. Konkai wa doko kara maro kana. So da na. Yappari shin attraction kara. Just how often do you make new attractions? I've already been dragged onto so many new attractions. The time frame for building them must be ridiculously short, and the amount of time between each new attraction seems completely random. They say they are accompanying me, but that's not true at all. This time? Are you serious? I was never enthusiastic at all. You make it sound like I've always been enthusiastic. It's always great. The new attractions haven't been tested. I learned that the hard way. Of course, it's not a compliment. A train that doesn't stop running, a go-kart that only stops after you crash, a haunted house with no exit. It's all completely ridiculous. Give up, Alice. There's no, there's no escape. Resistance is futile. Alright, I'll go. You call this not forcing me. However you look at it, 
They're forcing me to go with them. Sa, go. Sa, sa. Go, go. And so they dragged me along. They don't care about what I want at all. <laughs> 